Hey everyone, so I mentioned that I was going to make a video about making gray wash. Unfortunately, the last time I made a batch, um, and when I say making gray wash, I'm just going to kind of show you how to do it out of just like one basic black. Um, so what I had done last time is I bought a big bottle of Kurosumi, um, you know, they're like 12 or 16 ounce bottles, which probably would have taken me forever to use. So basically what I did was I just bought a bottle of uh, Kurosumi, just the normal gray wash, and made some different tones myself. So I used the last of my glycerin. Um, and glycerin is basically a skin protectant that you guys can buy like at Walmart for a couple bucks a bottle and you can make literally like hundreds of ounces of gray wash with it. Um, but what, a couple of things you'll need, and I'm just going to show you kind of how to do it out of like a basic. So I got like Mom's Black Pearl and even though they do sell it as tattoo outlining ink, <laughs> I'll get into this whole... Um, uh, let's just say advertising campaign that a lot of tattoo companies tend to do nowadays, I think, because there's so many people getting into the business and they're so easily fooled. Anyway, so if you get, like, a big bottle of, um, like, I personally, all right, Mom's Tattoo Outlining Ink, I use this oftentimes for just solid black work. I generally use Talon's Black for all my, like, tribal-type tattoos, and Talon's is a little tricky. It's like a super, super condensed carbon-based black, um, but there's a little bit of a process, which I'm kind of going to show you a little bit of making gray wash to be able to safely use that in people's skin, but Talon's is awesome black. Um, but let's get into the gray wash stuff. So I'm going to take, I'm going to have my little, my, you know, bottle of mom's, whatever, whatever personal black you guys like to use. And you can just use a solid black. So if I'm going to use like a black like this, you're going to want to get some witch hazel, some distilled water. And I'm just going to kind of show you, and you can buy generally empty ink bottles, um, like anywhere basically. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you how to do it and make a four ounce bottle of it. So what I would do is I have an empty half ounce bottle here, and again, this is gonna be to make four ounces of just one tone of gray wash. So I have my half ounce, and you know, you can, this is a, just a personal preference, like you can make it thicker, thinner, whatever your personal preference is. So if I'm gonna make like a, just like a general darker tone of gray wash, what I would do is fill this half uh, or a quarter of the way up with um, distilled water, another quarter of the way up with um, witch hazel, and another quarter of the way up, so it would be about half the bottle full, and this is a half ounce bottle, so about half of this bottle, and again, there's 25% witch hazel, 25% glycerin, which is a skin protectant. It's kind of like, almost like, it's sort of like gel looking when you buy it in the bottle. I wish I had a bottle here and 50% distilled water, and it's got to be distilled water. Don't use, like, tap water, you know, because God only knows what's in your tap. Um, and then, so then you would take a, just a four-ounce bottle of, you know, empty bottle. And again, this formula, so if you were going to make two ounces of a gray wash, you would basically use about a quarter of this, you know. But anyway, whatever formula you were going to use, and again, this is a personal thing, 25%. So per four ounces, it's half a half ounce. So for two ounces, you would make a quarter ounce, uh, or a quarter of a half ounce, whatever. Um, so again, this is a half ounce bottle. I fill this halfway up, quarter of the way would... Um, distilled water, or, yeah, no, half, <laughs> half of a half ounce, so a quarter ounce of this. Um, it would be halfway up to the halfway mark with distilled water, another 25% witch hazel, and another 25% glycerin. And then I would take like an empty four ounce bottle, say, you know, fill that four ounce bottle just almost up to the top enough to leave, um, you know, the rest of that as for the mix of that. And then so for, and that's for just like, um, you know, kind of like a lighter shade of gray wash. And if I were going to make a thicker shade of gray wash, I would do, you know, make a quarter of this, um, but basically the same formula. So per four ounces, you would use a quarter ounce of your mix. Again, that's per four ounces. And you can use, you know, any kind of a solid black to, uh, you know, make it with. 
Um, just to kind of show you guys something, and again, I'm not going to, because I will say this company does make tremendous tattoo ink, so I'm not slang, slamming the company in any way, but what you should really watch out for, especially anybody new getting into the business, is because there's so many people getting into the business that don't really know, there's a lot of companies out there, that, it, and it's pretty much flat out, you know, uh, false advertising, um, you know, like these companies that make these twist grips that say that'll set your stroke length and all in all actuality, all it does is set your needle protrusion. But I'm going to unfortunately use this one company for an example because they do sell a lot of products that are kind of bogus. Um, so I'm just going to get into this. So this one company sells this Zuper Black, you can see here. And as, according to them, it says, Zuper Black Tattoo Ink, the darkest and most intense black developed by blank company. Um, and then again, you can go up here, um, and they have a true black, the same company. Of course, the pricing is different. With this tattoo ink, um, there is no need for different blacks for lining or solid areas. We combine the best of both worlds and create the most perfect black tattoo ink on the market. This is the same company, granted, that's selling this. Um, they also have a uh, Salupe um, Samoan black, or so they say. This black tattoo ink that passed the test of time, blank company, um, teamed with the Salupe tattoo family and Samoa to create a tattoo ink that is perfect for tribal tattoos. You would think it was created by the Samoans themselves, blah, blah, blah. Again, and again, they claim, you know, super dark black. Obviously, if you're doing, um, you know, tribal type of work. Again, the same company now sells this in 10, oops, uh, Formula 23, which supposedly is a black specifically made for lettering, which I can't really understand what the difference would be between um, lettering and outlining, per se. But again, you know, these are all different prices. Like the 12 ounce of this Zuper Black is $32.99 here. For 12 ounces of this uh, Formula 23, it's $45. And for the True Black, for only 4 ounces, it's almost as much as the 12 ounce bottle of their Zuper Black, which is supposedly the darkest um, black this particular company makes. Again, this company, you know, sells Talons and Pelican, which back in the day when I first started tattooing, that was either, it was either or, you know, Pelican Black or Talons Black, which are based, they're now advertising that for tattooing, and they're basically drawing inks, um, so there's a little bit of a process to go through, which is kind of like some people double boil it, um, but I don't have to honest God, I've heard of people back in the day just dumping like um, shots of vodka in the bottle and using it like that. Some people have used it straight with no, um, you know, no infections or anything like that. But it is a little harsh on the skin if you do use it straight. You know, the moms and again. They have the outlining black and then two shades of gray wash. So if you buy a 12 ounce bottle of black ink, chances are it's going to last you a while. So um, you know, you can like kind of just make your own gray wash out of that, um, you know, black, which kind of like I just did the formula for, um, and again, that's a personal formula if you want to make it a little darker, you know, um, and I, I, I make like a light, medium and dark tone of it. So that's kind of like, so the darkest tone, um, yeah, the darkest tone I use is the quarter of a half ounce bottle, um, like for a medium tone, I use like the half of a half ounce bottle. And for like a super light light, I would be like three quarters of a half ounce bottle. But whatever the formula may be that you're using, um, generally like a half ounce bottle is enough, um, well, well more than enough of it for four ounces of gray wash. And again, 50% distilled water, 25% witch hazel, and 25% glycerin, which again, glycerin is a skin protectant and you can buy it at Walmart. Um, there's also things you can get like, this, say this particular company that I was just going over has like a color mixing solution, which I can probably guarantee is pretty much the same thing that I just went over, the mix that I went over. Um, 
So for four ounces of this color mixing solution, you're looking at $25 as opposed to four ounces, uh, what I could probably make with the what I just showed you, like the glycerin, distilled water, and witch hazel for probably, you know, for four ounce bottle of it, probably end up being five bucks worth of stuff. Um, you know, so just some things to watch out for out there. Uh, here's another company that makes really spectacular products. They sell something called Keep It Wet. Keep It Wet is a solution to help keep your ink wet. It can also be used to thin pigments. So if you don't want to go through that whole big process of it, you know, and mixing it yourself, which will save you money, but you can buy stuff like this. Um, and again, this for a four ounce bottle is eight dollars i've used this myself and i do have a bottle of this that i use um just in case my regular color inks start getting a little dried out i'll use that just a couple drops of it and it kind of loosens it up um even that for talons will generally work good you'll hear a lot of artists talk different things about talons um or like pelican black which again are super super blacks they're super easy to use they're a thin viscosity so they're not clumpy they go in really nice um, but in all honesty, you can use stuff like this and just kind of, you know, for, so talons, like, it's, I don't know, really know what it boils down to in ounces, probably 16 ounces would be probably 490 milliliter. Yeah, all right. So 16.5 ounces. So if you were going to use something like this in talons, and I would probably go a little bit more, oh, and it was, pardon me for talons instead of the witch hazel, I would personally use distilled, um, alcohol instead of witch hazel because it's a little bit more of a um, like concentrated um, astringent so yeah so skip the witch hazel for making for using it in your talons um, and use rubbing alcohol basically uh, so again you guys just you know oh so anyway needless to say what I was talking about with all these blacks I remember years ago when they started coming out with this particular company too when they I hope I don't get anybody in trouble for saying this but we were at a convention in Albany New York at a tattoo expo and they had all these different blacks for sale and I basically went up to the guy um, you know with a couple of my crew um, and we just asked you know basically what's the difference and he said in all honesty and I shouldn't even be telling you this but he said it's just marketing campaign so basically they make one particular black and you'll probably hear artists debate about this too but if you get super black true black or that intense Samoa black it's just one basic black ink with just different labels on it and you're just paying different prices for it so if i were you guys i would just try to find a black that works for you um you know and just stick with it really i mean there's so many different blacks out there and there's so many different people that will tell you about you know what black is best um but you know again for like generally for tribal tattoos i personally use talons just because i've been using it forever um you know um and whatever you know um and again for like most of my line work or smaller black um like tribal like i'll use the um mom's um black pearl outlining ink um so yeah you know again you know here's one of my catalogs or whatever by the way there's one company that i have promoted quite a bit on this um my channel here and that's unimax tattoo supply which here's one of their catalogs um and you could you can buy from them online it's a very professional company that have been out for years um and that's www.unimaxshop.com and you can get stuff from these guys online super great products and you know they basically sell like everything you could possibly you know need or want uh one thing i will say i know a lot of people oh, here's that detail stuff i was telling you guys about that astringent that can be used for um stencil application super great stuff um or here you go like easy lubricating jelly which is kind of basically like ky jelly um so this is like a really great company anybody out there that's you know wants just like a full range of whatever to buy for you know super great prices um so yeah, you know, check these guys out. Again, like when I talk about autoclaves and stuff, as opposed to they're not pressure cookers, you know, autoclaves are really expensive. 
you know, here's like a, a stovetop autoclave for like $400, basically. You can buy a brand new pressure cooker for $40. There is a big difference. Um, you know, ultrasonic cleaners, again, anybody out there that's using um, particularly non-disposable cartridge grips, um, you're going to have to sterilize them. You know, you can't just use that, stick a cartridge in that grip pull that cartridge out and then use that same tube all over again without sterilizing it. Again, these pouches, really easy to buy. So anybody in getting into tattooing, you know, make sure that needles aren't getting pulled out of these pouches because chances are those needles are getting reused. Um, you know, chemical, like here's all that stuff, you know, um, maticide and stuff like that. Um, you know, cleaners, maticide cleanse, um, the germicidal solutions like I showed you in another video. Um, you know, you can buy anything from these guys. They're like really super great company, you know, flash books, whatever. Um, so yeah, I would, I would check these guys out. Um, I bought some of these last time, these EO1 inks that were phenomenal. They sell all the Kurosumis. One thing I will say that concerns me, like with Amazon, um, because I've been poking around on there a little bit after I got into that whole dragonfly thing, um, because I would just got so curious with all the hype about it. So these guys sell, so Amazon is probably the only place that I know of, including Kurosumi themselves, that sells six ounce bottles of gray wash. And I don't know if the company themselves doesn't sell it. I don't think that's a legitimate Kurosumi ink coming from, um, coming from them guys. You know, I mean, Kurosumi, here we go, and this is like, you know, Oh, my bad. No, no, no. For the regular gray washes, they sell only 12-ounce bottles. And then you can get like a bronze gray wash in 6-ounce or a cherry shading ink, which is like a reddish gray wash. The bronze is kind of like, well, bronze. Um, you know, but they, Kurosumi themselves do not sell 6-ounce bottles of regular gray wash and for some strange reason amazon does so i'm a little skeptical about them as far as that goes and besides that amazon their inks are ridiculously priced like i think for a 12 ounce bottle of mom's black pearl and at amazon it's like i don't know 30 something dollars and in this it's like 26.50 um, and again, you know, when you buy from companies like this, you know you're getting a real deal. I personally bought my Black Pearl from Technical Tattoo Supply, which is the company that makes Mom's inks. And I think I paid 25 from them guys. So, I mean, that was coming right from the distributor themselves. Um, so, yeah, you know, Amazon's a little shady, honestly. Um, so check these guys out though. I've been honestly getting stuff. This is like my go-to supply company and they literally sell everything. And again, you can, they do have a website, www.unimaxshop.com. Um, right now they have some of my personal favorite coil machines that I made another video about. Um, the, they have um, the first generations of them for, I, th I think I can probably show you right in here. So they have like newer generations. This is like the third and second generation Apollos. And right now, I believe you can get the first generation Apollos. Well, this was a couple years ago, this catalog. But anyway, these are phenomenal coil machines for like 60 bucks. I mean, I've had them literally years and years either these apollos or these iron stars right now back when i was buying them they were like 175 bucks which is pretty much the gen 3 price now um oh yeah special price 50 bucks you know for these and they're phenomenal i mean you can't get a better coil machine certainly not on amazon um so yeah you know check them out whatever even these strong mans right now are on sale like the first generations for like 60 bucks because again these guys and and they've gotten more into this is like a 2016 catalog they've gotten more into um getting rotaries now um but you know whatever um so and, and you know they're just phenomenally uh, phenomenal company 
I will say one thing that I, I do know about know about these guys, like back when this catalog was out a couple of years, they were selling Cheyenne products. They discontinued selling Cheyenne products, period. I couldn't even get a replacement cord for my Cheyenne Hawk pen that I do still have because it breaks my heart to throw away a $650 pen. But what was happening is they were selling these straight RCA cords. So what you with pens, because it's just basically like the gravity is pulling that cord, so it kind of disconnected right here. I can even buy a replacement cord for it. So this company, which is probably one of the best tattoo companies you can possibly go to, and uh, Technical, they both discontinued selling all Cheyenne products. So that's kind of like speaking volumes for Cheyenne and. That was one company that I would have never in a million years would have thought of done business with Amazon because they were such a lucrative company. But, yeah, they resorted selling their junk to them. So, anyway, guys, uh, that's like a little lesson in gray wash. Um, again, per four ounces, you would want a quarter ounce of mix. Um, and that's just basically, a, you know, just... Uh, kind of like a mid-tone another thing like back in the day when they didn't have these pre-made gray washes you would just basically you know like if you have an ink you have your ink cup you have your general basic black in that cup do your line work and you can take like I, I still do it now and again I have a another bottle here again you would always want your bottles bagged um, you know because if you're going to touch that trigger the trigger can get cross-contaminated so you know bag your bottles um, so this bottle is kind of like about a 50-50 mix of um, just witch hazel and distilled water. And what I'll do sometimes if I just have a little bit of gray wash and a tattoo to do, like I'll take that ink cup, whatever's left over from my liner ink, and just spray a little bit of this in it. Um, you know, and that's obviously thinning the black out a little bit, so that works. You know, that was kind of like back in the day what we used to do when they didn't have all these pre-mixed gray washes. But, um, so yeah, for four ounce, per four ounces, um, depending on it, kind of what kind of a shade you would want, but for like a mid gray wash, I'll use a quarter ounce for, um, like a darker tone, I'll use a quarter of a half ounce, a half of a half ounce for a medium and three quarters of a half ounce for a super light, light gray wash. And uh, so you have your dark, medium, and light right there. And you don't have to, you know, again, a 12-ounce bottle of black tattoo ink will generally last. Unless you're doing a lot of tribal, it'll definitely last you a while. Usually the expiration date, you know, kind of goes before the bottle empties. So anyway, thinking. See ya. Bye.